San Diego Comic Con has revealed some super special news for the CW's Arrowverse, and it's a development we never thought we'd ever see. A familiar face is donning Superman's cape once again, and he has some feelings about the impending comeback. As part of the festivities of Comic Con 2019, it was announced that the CW is cooking up a crossover of epic proportions. Former Superman actor Brandon Routh, who played Clark Kent in the 2006 film Superman Returns, and current Man of Steel Tyler Hecklin, who portrays Supes in a recurring capacity on Supergirl, will both be suiting up as Superman as part of the Arrow vs. upcoming Crisis on Infinite Earths event. It's a role Ralph hasn't played since 2006's Superman Returns, and at this point, almost certainly never expected to play again. He was Superman. Everyone was in love with him. The announcement, first reported by Deadline on July 19th, got fans into the best kind of huff, a fast-talking frenzy that left some commenters already declaring Crisis on Infinite Earths as the greatest crossover event ever. Not long after the news hit the net, Ralph took to social media just like the fans did to react to his return as Superman. I think it's only fair that I answered. Ralph tweeted in response to Deadline's post confirming the news, saying that he was "...honored, humbled, grateful, and still pinching myself." Hecklin, who first slipped into the Superman suit in 2016 for Supergirl, expressed his own anticipation for the forthcoming clash of the Superman by tweeting at Ralph, "...let's go, brother." Ralph bantered back with a punch and a wink emoji, as well as the comment, "...so excited to share the screen with you as soups, Tyler Hecklin. So fun. I'm so ready." Ralph also joked that he was immediately heading off to the gym to get in tip-top shape for the cross over, though we doubt he actually needs to, considering that he's been playing superheroes for years. Arrowverse loyals will already recognize Ralph from his role as Ray Palmer, better known as The Atom, a role which he's taken to Arrow, The Flash, and DC's Legends of Tomorrow, on which he's currently a main player. The actor also opened up to Entertainment Weekly about his return to the role that put him on the map as a younger man. He admitted that he initially experienced mixed feelings about the news before letting himself feel excited. Asked about his outlook, Ralph said, "...it's an opportunity for me to kind of say, hello and goodbye to the character in a way I didn't get to the first time. Being a young individual at the time, 24, 25, I thought, oh, we're going to do this. I'm going to do this for years and make multiple movies. And then that, of course, didn't happen. So I'm just, you know, very honored to do this one last time. Ralph and Hecklin's eagerness about playing dueling Superman is nothing compared to the reactions of their fans, one of whom tweeted, "...the fact that both of you will be sharing the screen as soups is blowing my mind. Can't wait to see you both back in the red cape." Another said that the news was the best thing they had heard yet from this year's Comic-Con, even more incredible than the surprise Top Gun Maverick trailer Tom Cruise dropped on Thursday. According to that fan, "...I was buzzing like a happy bee over the Top Gun trailer. Then this Brandon Ralph news drops into my hive like a dollop of sweet, unpasteurized honey." Yes, yes, yes. Best DC news in ever. What makes the news of Ralph's return to the Superman role so exciting is that many thought it would never be possible. The idea of seeing Ralph as Cal el again was pretty unthinkable after Superman Returns failed to generate the kind of box office that Studio Warner Brothers pitchers needed to greenlight a sequel, taking in just over $391 million worldwide. That's not much compared to the other DC Comics-based fare from WB, which has tended to scoop up anywhere from around $750 million globally on the lower end to over $1 billion at the top. While Ralph did pick up praise for his performance, Warner Brothers decided not to pursue more films with him in the role. The studio wound up rebooting the character seven years later in 2013's Man of Steel, the film that started the DC Extended Universe as we know it. It's unknown which installments of the five-episode Crisis on Infinite Earths event Ralph and Hecklin will appear on. Much like previous crossover events in the Arrowverse, the expansive story is set to once again bring together the cast of the CW superhero series, this time around including Arrow, Batwoman, The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, and Supergirl. Even without the Superman news, it's clear that the event will be the biggest one in the Arrowverse thus far, spanning two months of real time, with three episodes of the crossover seeing release in December and two more to follow in January 2020. The crossover story is likely to follow, or at least draw inspiration from, the DC Comics storyline of the same name, in which the heroes fight against the nefarious Anti-Monitor with the help of alternate versions of themselves from different universes. With that story as a jumping-off point, Crisis on Infinite Earths was already shaping up to be unlike anything Arrowverse fans have seen prior to this announcement. But now, it's simply superb. Two Supermans at the same time is just the icing on the cake, and we're glad that Ralph thinks the news is as sweet as we do. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite superheroes are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.